Hi, this is Dave Lorenzo with RainmakerLawyer.com, and today our conversation is going to be about the five questions you should ask any former lawyer before you invest money in whatever law firm marketing program they're advocating. Now, here's why I'm doing this. There are a number of people out there who do what I do, who help lawyers like yourself with their marketing or practice management or even business strategy. And I want to make sure that you're investing your hard-earned money with the right person. So I'm just creating this video as a public service so that you make a good choice. Now, if you've decided that you want to work with someone who is a former lawyer for your law firm marketing, I want you to ask them these five questions before you agree to sign up with them, okay? Here's question number one. Question number one is, is kind of an obvious question, but I'm amazed that more people don't ask it. You go to a lawyer and he or she is going to help you with law firm marketing or practice management or business strategy, I want you to ask them why they're no longer practicing law. I mean, it doesn't matter if they're no longer practicing law or they haven't practiced law in 10 or 15 or 20 or 25 years or if they just stopped practicing law yesterday. This is an important question. You need to know why this person who's an expert on developing business for other lawyers or who's suddenly an expert on business strategy, you need to know why they're no longer a practicing lawyer. What happened? The second thing is you want to ask them if you can speak with three of their former clients from their law practice. Really important question, even though you're not going to them for legal advice or you're not looking to them to provide you with any legal advice, it's a good idea to find out what the experience of working with them was like. And I don't want you to ask about the experience of working with them as a law firm marketer. I want to find out about the experience of working with them when they practice law. Here's why that's important to know. If they practiced law in, you know, 25 years ago, that experience may not be as relevant and you, and you may, may have a hard time finding someone, so get some current references, not a problem. But if they just stopped practicing law within the last, say, 10 years, they should be able to find a few of their former clients and if they were unhappy while they were practicing law or they decided it wasn't for them, it's a good idea to find out what it was like when things weren't so good working with them because you don't know if your experience working with them is going to be fantastic or not. So find out what it was like when they were practicing law and under a little pressure, find out what the experience was like in working with them. The third question is, how successful is your current business? These folks were once lawyers. Now they're law firm marketers or law firm business strategy experts or law firm practice management experts. Find out if they're successful. You need to understand that people who are teaching something should be successful if you're going to invest money with them. Now, if they're doing something with you for free, this question may not be as important. I mean, I would still ask it, but you may not want to ask it. But if, if you're going to spend money with these folks, you want to make sure they're the best at what they do. So find out about their business, ask how many clients they have, ask for a way to verify the number of clients they have, and also ask how much money they're making. I mean, if they're going to teach you how to make more money, shouldn't they be making money themselves? Shouldn't they be successful themselves? Good question to ask. The fourth question I want you to ask is, do you have a system that you follow? Is there a framework you operate within? You don't want to work with somebody who just wings it. Even if they have a system and they're going to customize that system and approach for you, at least they have a guideline, they have a framework, they have knowledge of something that's successful. The system is important. So you want to ask the law firm marketer who used to be a lawyer, you want to ask them if they have a system, and then you want to find out at least what the first few steps of that system are. The fifth thing you want to ask is, very important, and that's five references. You want five references from current clients, from people that they're currently working with. You want client tenure of anything from three or four months to people who've been working with them for one or two years. You want a variety of tenure because you want to find out what the experience of working with this person is all along the way. Really, really important, folks, for you to understand that there are a lot of people out there right now, a lot of attorneys out there who've been laid off from big law firms or who were practicing in solo or small practices, and unfortunately, they were not successful in doing what they were doing, so they've decided to leverage what they think is expertise and sell it to you. So if they weren't successful at developing business for themselves, 
You need to know that. And you need to know that before you invest your hard-earned money with these people. So ask these five questions. Make a good decision when you're hiring someone to help you with your business strategy, your practice management, and your marketing for your law firm. My name is Dave Lorenzo, and if you'd like more great tips just like these, you can find me at RainmakerLawyer.com. Thanks for watching. Have a fantastic day.